In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to connect a free motion capture file to the model of the Stickman. Once you've connected the Carnegie Mellon University motion capture armature to the Stickman, it's relatively quick and easy to use any of the other 2000 or so motion capture files. First, open the index that come with the motion capture files. In the index, choose the motion capture file you want to use, in this example the Macarena Dance. Open the file in BV Hacker. It was 14335. Now when they make the motion capture file, they use a very high sample rate, much higher than you need, and it makes the files very big and take a very long time to open. So when this does open, the first thing I'm going to do is half the sample rate to reduce the file size and make it more manageable. It's 120 frames per second, half the sample rate to 60, half it again to 30, half it again to 15. Now, in the armature, there's bones I don't need. I don't need the eyes, so I'm going to right-click the head and remove descendants. I don't need the fingers for the stick man, so I'm right-clicking the right hand, remove descendants, right-clicking the left hand, remove descendants. I'm going to center the armature, zoom out, and save, file, save. It's not a good idea to overwrite the original, so I'm going to a working folder and give it a meaningful name. I've already saved it before, so I'm going to overwrite the file I saved before. Import the BVH file into an empty Blender scene, delete the default cube, file import, motion capture BVH, select the Macarena file, and very important, set the scale to the same as for the armature that was linked to the stickman, which was 0 0.05, and import. The armature is in the T pose in the first keyframe, which I don't want, so I'm going to delete the first keyframe. If I press play, the speed of the motion is too quick. To slow it down, I'm going to open a new window, dragging on the white diagonal line, make the new window a dope sheet window, rewind, and with the cursor in the dope sheet window, press S to scale, 1.5, and enter. Now if I press play, the speed of the motion is about right. Save that, give the file a meaningful name, Macarena and the number of the motion capture file. I've already practiced this so my file exists. Next, open the file made in the previous tutorial. You can make the file yourself or download it from my website. We have the stickman linked to a motion capture armature. How do we link the stickman to the Macarena motion? Well, file, append, go to the folder with the Macarena blend file that we just saved, select it, with append you go inside the file, go into the action folder, select the Macarena action and link append. Change the mode from dope sheet to action editor. Click the F button so that the walk action is saved even if it isn't linked to the stick man. Click the browse action button. Select the Macarena action. Click the F button so that the Macarena action is saved even if it's not linked to the stick man. Increase the total length of the animation and press play and the stick man performs the Macarena. I have prepared some more motion capture files which I can append into this one. I've prepared a breakdance file which I've edited in BV Hacker, edited in Blender. Now I can go into the blend file, into the action folder, select the action and append it. And I can append a twist motion. Go into the Blender file, into the action folder, select the action and append. Click the Browse Action button, select the New Actions and click the F button. Now I can rewind and play, and the Stickman does the twist. 
I was sent a message by Patrick Jacek about additional motion capture tools. If you go to User Preferences, click the Add-ons button, go to the Animation category and tick Motion Capture Tools. And there's a link to the Blender Wiki for the Capture Tools. And if you scroll down, the Motion Capture Tools add-on, as its name suggests, has many varied and different tools for the artist who wants to work with motion capture data. And if you scroll down, there's a link to the user manual, which tells you how to use the tools. And if you scroll down in that, one of the main tools is to retarget the motion capture data for the bones of the motion capture armature, retarget it to the bones of your armature, which is a more sophisticated approach than mine where I delete my armature and link the stickman skin directly to the bones of the motion capture armature. To use the motion capture tools click the object data button and scroll down and you will see the additional tools. I'll put a summary of the workflow for adding motion capture files to the stickman in the notes that accompany this video. I'll put the start file and the end file for you to download at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.